Go ahead and enjoy your fruitcake with some whipped cream and cherries. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another video. You brighten my day, babe. <laughs> We're just testing out the light. Apparently, when I move, it gets dark, but when I come back, it gets bright. You'll but see anyway, you'll see it in the anyways, guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Crystal. I am Bill. And we are the champion team. And today, guys, if you watch our videos a few months ago, we put these to soak there. We need to go watch that video first and then come back to this video. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I swear it, guys. Anyways, let's not pay bill any mind. Let's get right into it. We're gonna go ahead and make the fruit cake. Pass my apron, babe. I think for Christmas I should wear my apron. This is our apron you don't wear, guys. It's all for decoration. I kind of banned out from this, but I think I should wear it today given the circumstances. But that's it guys, Let's, let me show you our ingredients. Babe, why you did it so tight? You see what I gotta go through guys? All right guys, what we got here is our ingredients. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you. It takes six eggs, not five, it takes six. Correct, that's You want six, six eggs, eggs. And, then, and then like- That's three cups uh, of flour. You could say three cups of flour, but in Jamaica, they don't measure. It's just put a bunch in there. Pour it out. <laughs> Pour out the flour into the pan. Okay, yummy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then and that's what is it? spices, what is that's nutmeg. That's nutmeg. Cinnamon. Cinnamon and... All spices. All spices. And this right here, that's salt. That's salt? Mm -hmm, that's salt and three tablespoons of uh, baking powder. Okay. I was wondering why it looked like cocaine, <laughs> but okay. Babe! <laughs> I see what I go through. Okay. That right there is vanilla. I use one tablespoon of vanilla. I love the smell of this. Vanilla extract. Mm. It smells good, babe. It smells like vanilla. Um, okay. <laughs> right there, guys. It's one and a half cup of brown sugar. Boom. Well, the ingredients call for one and a half cup. You know it's Jamaican. That's two cup, guys. Don't follow me. <laughs> that right there, guys, it's two, um, one cup of butter. One so, cup of butter. And if you can't measure out butter from a cup, get the sticks. Yeah, I use the sticks and it's already pre-measured. And then this right here, it's our blend. It's, this is the mess you up juice <laughs> that's our fruit mix guys and that right there is two cups i'm gonna use three cups so once i pour that out i'll pour some other in there and that right there is the ingredients guys we're gonna get started of course the browning and the lime juice and you guys are gonna hear a little more about the browning once i start to use it but that's it all right guys bill is over there working on the dry ingredients He's sieving the flour. As you gotta sieve the flour, you don't want your cake to be all lumpy and you know. So he's doing that. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and mix the sugar and the butter together. And right here, guys, in this blender, it's some cherry. I just blend it with the juice that was in there. And you're gonna see how I incorporate that in the recipe. But while he's doing that, let me go ahead and start the mix. All right, guys, so now you're just gonna get the butter. For this butter, I didn't take it out, so you should ensure when you're gonna bake the butter is room temperature. I just pop it in the microwave for a little minute, and now I put it in there. You're gonna start it off by putting this on low. Start off on low, guys, and then you put in the sugar. Right, sugar. You're my brown sugar, babe. Shut up. I'm artificial. I'll be eating all the stuff before it gets put in. Babe, can you pass me a spoon right there? Right. But guys, there you have it. You see how fluffy looking that is? Babe, that's all you. 
What am I doing? Holding it? You could put it away. So that's all that's how it looks guys. It came out fluffy. I'm just gonna go ahead. Aren't you gonna use this to mix the rest? And add the rest of this ingredients to it. Yes, babe. I'm gonna use it. So you let me put it away so you can yell at me put it away. Nope. See guys, that was a trap. Guys, if you're, if pour you're the vanilla, pour all your liquid ingredients in there. <laughs> and this, guys, you're going to use one teaspoon of lime juice. Is that a teaspoon? Did I put any in it? Guys, I swear Bill is in the kitchen to give me a hard time. Are you going to open this for me? No. You know how to open Lime juice, guys. I don't know why it's not opening. I think you got to stick something in there. So while Billy's working on that, I'm gonna go ahead and pour. Do you open this? It's not fruit. twist off. You gotta use a knife and stick it in there. Pour your fruit mixture in there, guys. And go ahead and mix in the sugar and the fruit mixture. Mm, this smells so good with the rum. Oh, it's open. Boom, lime juice done. I squeezed the whole lime. People are gonna come for me and say, oh, Crystal, that's gonna occur though. But you can make stuff any way you wanna do it. It's all going the same. Is that place. a teaspoon? Yes, it was. <laughs> Guys, once you put the. Um, once you put the lime juice in there, you go ahead and mix them together. What the lime juice does is cut out the rawness of the egg so your cake don't taste raw. Mix it even more. You just mix it for like a good three minutes. Not even that long. Pour in the mixture. I'm just gonna change out this. I'm gonna go ahead and use a wooden spoon to finish off this, guys. I'm just trying to put the wet ingredients out of the way. And we haven't forgot about the, the other cup, guys. Remember I said I'm gonna show you what to do with the cherry. You go ahead and plug that out, babe. I'm done. I'm going the old school way. You know what the old school way is? I mean, I could show you guys how to use it with that if you guys want, but we're gonna put that to the side. Make space, guys. Alright, so we're gonna put the liquid stuff to the side. For the flour, we're just gonna add all the dry ingredients together. And I need my fork. And we're just mixing everything in. Don't worry about the mess. If you cook and you don't create a mess, are you even cooking? Don't use that against me, babe. I'm joking. Remember what you just said earlier in the video. <laughs> See when Bill cooks, he makes a mess. The thing is, guys, when I make a mess, I clean it up. So, guys, you're not going to put everything in at once. What you're going to do is put in a little at a time. Putting a little and full. The reason I saved the other cup of fruits for last because when you put, if you put too much flour, then you'll have additional fruit to use. That's just a smart way to do it. My hand is hurting. Do it the old school way, babe. That's what you wanted. 
Really, Bo? <laughs> uh, this builds character. The old school way build character. You want me to mix? You want to come in and help me? My hand is getting tired. Here, we can uh, Patrick Swayze this and ghost. <laughs> there you go, babe. Oh, you want to do the ghosting? Okay, babe, come in. There you go. <laughs> so, what I, you know what I just realized, babe? Mm. He wasn't really doing nothing. She was doing all the work. And that's my favorite movie of all time. Babe, I'm gonna talk. <laughs> Guys, see what you're doing to the camera. Bill is gonna get in there. All right, while Bill is doing that, I'm just gonna get the other mixture ready, guys. Don't be afraid to hold it, babe. Is that the rest? I just add the rest and there's so much more that could make an entire cake that maybe Bill and I could use around Christmas for it. So as this batch I'm making is for Bill's Christmas party tomorrow. Up my gaming hand, babe. Uh, that's love right there, babe. We gotta help each other. If you need me to come and play Grand Theft Auto and what's the other game you play? Apex. Apex Legend. Just tell me what to do. And you know my coordination is all wrong. <laughs> I'll try to help you. All right, guys. So I just add this is I add cherry to the mix and turn it around. It brought us up to one and a half cup, and I'm just gonna pour the rest in. See how nice that looks. And Bill's just gonna incorporate that for me. Babe is doing a fantastic job. And guys, one thing I forgot to tell you guys, while you're mixing this, ensure you put a pot of water on the stove to boil because you're going to need it when you start baking and at this time you should start to preheat your oven you could preheat it to like 10 minutes may have pulled it you don't want that going across the floor Here's we're going to swap spots and i'm going to go ahead and take over since you don't want me to take over tell you what pass me the brownie you can mix. I'll go ahead and unopen this. So guys, most Jamaican black cake or fruit cake, you guys notice it's black. You're, if you're watching this, you're probably wondering, Crystal, why is your cake so light? It doesn't have any color. Now what we're gonna do at this time is to go ahead and give the cake some color uh, by adding browning. I'm using Grace Browning. You could get that in America. This is really a Jamaican product, but yep, you could get it at Bravo, Walmart. And how much browning you put in there is, it depends how dark you want your cake to be. For me, I like my cake really dark. So I'm gonna put, start off by putting half a bottle, guys. And Bill is gonna go ahead and mix that in for me. Alright, and we're gonna see how black that comes out. I shouldn't say black or how dark <laughs> it comes out. Whatever, it's black cake, dark cake, fruit cake. Put it on the side right there. Break it down. Break it down. Wow, Bill's doing an awesome job. And guys, if you if you weren't here and see the ingredients, you would think this is actually chocolate cake. Because you see how bring that all uh, that color down there, babe. You'll see how some 
dry ingredients still on top. It looks like chocolate. Does it look like brownie, babe? Does it look like the brownie that takes you to heaven? Mm -hmm. The earth brownie? So now, for me, if you could see right around the corner right there, it's not properly incorporated yet. So I'm just gonna add another more. And Bill's gonna incorporate it. I like my black cake to be as black as the cake on this. Awesome job, babe. I'm gonna bring this in there. It takes, there's some stuff on the side. Hold it. Good job. Like from where I'm seeing, I'm still seeing colors. You might wanna use this spoon instead. Use this and scrape it off. Pull it. Wait for me, babe. Don't want to waste anything. There you go, we're gonna swap some. And go all the go into the bottom, babe. All the way in the bottom. Good job. Turn the pan. Like look on the outside. You see all this stuff? It's not getting colored. Your hand is tired, right? <laughs> You can use that wooden spoon as well. So this is why people have gravitated from using a wooden spoon and now people have started to use a machine. But for me, that's just too noisy to show you guys in this video. So that's why I stopped using the video because I want you guys to be able to hear me. the only reason. Only reason guys. And right here, there you have it. That's their mixture for black cake. I'm gonna put this aside, go and set up the our baking dish and we'll be right back to show you guys how to do that. Let me just go clean up and we'll be right back. Babe Bill is tired from mixing, guys. So technically, if you want your cake to be as dark as mine, I use an entire bottle of browning, guys. Okay? So I'm just gonna Beach. continue mixing. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're just gonna get some waxing paper so it doesn't stick to the dish. And I'm not using no scissors. I'm just gonna freehand it. Ignore the scissors in her hands, guys. Why? I'm not using any scissors. I'm just a free Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm not <laughs> going to use any pencils. That's what I meant. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to use any pencil. I'm just going to measure it on this and go around and cut. If you guys notice, the pan is also copper. So, copper has a natural non stick. A non natural non stick. Uh, coating. Listen to him, guys. I'm still gonna use it because that's just how I was taught. <laughs> yeah, she was taught in the time before a couple pans were in. The thing is, you want your cake to slide out easily and you just lift it out. When you're doing those ingredients, make sure you have some extra butter because what you're going to need the butter to do is to grease the pan or you could save the pieces that you have, whichever. You're just going to grease the pan like this with the butter and this is going to help it to stick. like gluing the paper to it. It's gonna help it to stick guys. Come off at the bottom. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grease the inside of this pan. Go around with it. It's gonna help the cake not stick to the 
edges and put it on it. If you have a pen like this, make sure you get it as tight as possible. How do you lock it? This way? No, the other way. How do you lock it though? Hold on, maybe I'm, I put it on the wrong way. I just put it on the wrong way. Make sure you did it the right way, guys. Yeah. See? Firm. Then it falls apart. <laughs> it's not gonna fall apart. Alright guys, this is the important part. I think this cake, I think this pan is a 10 inch pan. Let me double check. It doesn't say. But I think it's a 10 inch pan. This, I think I made way more than 10 inch. We'll just have to make an extra one. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in. Don't fill it all the way to the top. Give it more air, um, space because it's gonna rise. Sure, to get it evenly distributed, guys. Now shaking it like this, it's gonna take out the air bubbles and that extra space in the cake. It's so heavy guys, so if you see me holding it in a very uncomfortable position, it's because of the, I can't manage it. Alright, sh shake it up, even to distribute it. And there you have it guys. I'm going to pop this in the oven for like one hour. You could test it if it goes over, it's on 350 degrees. And this is how it looks before you bake it. I have some leftovers. I'm gonna find another pan so I can put the leftovers in. I think this one will go to the party and that will be for Bill and I. All right, guys. All right, guys, there you go. If you look inside the oven, you see I have like a wa the water that I boil on the bottom. And I'm gonna put the cake right over it. And that's gonna help to keep the cake moist. And we're gonna leave that in there for an hour. Let me go prepare for the other one. All right guys, see you guys in an hour. All right guys, this is the finished product. I made some cupcake with the extras that I had. I didn't have a much enough to fill the entire thing. Oh, I had one of them. So guys, with the extra that's left over, you could use that as your testing. But this is how it looks. I also have a mixture of like alcohol in this. I got this trick from a leather baker. I like that. <laughs> Nothing is wrong, guys. With so this is what's in there: rum and um, yeah, this is in there: rum, fruit wine, so sweet alcohol just mixed together. And as soon as it comes out when it's still hot, you just spray it. cherry on top. It's been sitting overnight and I'm just gonna cut it up so you guys can see inside. Guys, it feels so good cutting into it to get that pudding like texture. That's it guys. Showing you how it looks. Look at that guys. See, this is why you put the hot water underneath it to get that nice, moist pudding texture. All right, so Bill and I are gonna taste test this. Give you guys the verdict. Put that chair back. <laughs> hey guys, 
We're building that all ready to go. Here's the finished product. Just go ahead and enjoy your fruit cake with some whipped cream and cherries. This is how it looks. It's the, the taster. <laughs> and I'm just gonna taste it, make sure it's all good before I bring it to the party. And it's actually good. It tastes just like fruit cake. Alright guys. So we are practice. heading out. We're late. Catch yeah. you in a bit. Yeah, Bye. we're late. Merry Christmas. You guys got to see the Jamaican side. All the rest of the video after this is Bill's side and what he does for Christmas. So, bye. Some fine rings that are different things, but we found love. Yeah, we found love.